Hey guys, Jonathan here with the Blue Wizard Project just coming at you with my next game. So, what's this? Not Ian playing Castlevania, but everyone's favorite streamer, Jonathan? That's right. Ian and I decided that we were going to switch things up a bit, so I will not be playing Mega Man 8, despite the fact that in multiple videos I said I was looking forward to it, because I'd only played it once, Ian wanted to play it. So uh, I graciously, as uh, the more compassionate and kind of the two Blue Wizard Project streamers, gave that up and allowed Ian to play it so that I could play a Castlevania game in his stead. Uh, I chose Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance on the GBA. I actually played this one back in the day. Again, I own this game, uh, but I never beat it. It's buried in a box somewhere at my dad's place. So um, I remember bits and pieces of it, but like it's been so long since I played it. I played this when it first came out. Uh, so bear with me as I go through it. Uh, here I'm just picking out a name that very accurately uh, describes how I feel about things. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, just a heads up, I don't know Castlevania lore at all. I've never actually beaten a Castlevania game as far as I can remember. Uh, so we'll see. I don't have the encyclopedic knowledge that Ian does. So let's go through it. Fifty years have passed since Simon Belmont vanquished the curse of Dracula. Fate has dictated that juiced Belmont, blood descendant of the Belmont family, hunt for the relics of Dracula. One day, Juiced's best friend, Maxim, who had set out on a training expedition two years earlier, returned unexpectedly, his body covered with wounds. He informs Juice that Liddy, a childhood friend whom they both deep deeply care about, has been kidnapped. Maxim has completely lost his memory of his time training away from home and only one and only has vague images of the kidnapping. Ignoring his bodily injuries, Maximum leads Juice to the place where he believes Lydia is being held captive. Passing through thick fog, the two men happen upon a castle undocumented on any map. Could this be the fabled Dracula's castle? Standing solemnly in the night, this forbidding castle welcomes its unexpecting guests as the moonlit shines upon it. Castlevania Harmony of dissonance. So that's the opening. Again, I don't know anything about Castlevania. I don't even know if I'm saying these guys' names right. I'm sure Ian's going to correct me on that eventually. Uh, so you truly believe that Lydia is brought, was brought to this castle? My memory fails me, but this seems to be the place. Don't you believe me? I know better than anyone that you are not the type to lie. Juice. <laughs> are you alright? I, I'm fine. It's Lydia you should be concerned about, not me. Go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. You have my word. Okay, then. I'll see you inside. This is when we make the excellent uh, decision to split up in, in Dracula's castle. Um, yeah. So here's a ominous-looking bad guy. Good way to start the game. Uh, I didn't know if I was supposed to attack this, um, so I just tried to throw my body into it repeatedly. Um, as one does. I think they put that blue outline so it's easier for you to see. Also, I apologize, like, this game is meant to be played on a screen about that big, so, uh, it looks a bit blurry, not the greatest of image quality. I actually have to, like, zoom the screen in to get this, uh, image quality to the size that it is, so, um, I apologize about that, but nothing could be done about that. Uh, one thing that Ian pointed out about this game is the music is not great. Castlevania and Mega Man are both pretty much known for like having some of the best music in kind of these old school titles. Uh, not a huge fan of the music in this one. It's not grating or anything like that, it's just nothing special. Um, so one thing I would like to say is that you guys have seen how poorly I play Mega Man. Uh, I'm probably going to be worse at Castlevania. Again, I've played a handful of Castlevania games. I don't think I've ever played any of the NES ones. I've mostly played the ones on GBA and DS. Um, and I think I played a little bit of Castlevania 64, though I don't think that one really counts. <laughs> um, so I actually really love Metroidvania games. It's one of my favorite genre of games. Uh, that being said, up until uh, a couple of years ago when I started my um, challenge to play through 52 games in one year, uh, I'd never beaten a Metroid game or a Castlevania game. In the time since that I've beaten two Metroid games, I beat uh, Zero Mission and um, 
Oh, what is the other Game Boy Advance one? Zero Mission and whatever the other. Oh, Fusion. That's the other one. Uh, so I've beaten both of those. I've played Super Metroid and gotten pretty far, but for whatever reason, every time I start that game, I'm enjoying it, but then like some other big release comes out and I think, oh, I'll get to it some other time. Um, it's sitting on my 3DS waiting to be played, but I haven't gotten around to it right now. Uh, and seeing as I just got a Switch and I'm playing through Zelda, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, yeah, so one thing that you guys are going to notice is that this video is going to have a lot of cuts in it. Um, Ian has been playing through Castlevania games that haven't quite hit the Metroidvania style yet, where you're going to be doing a lot of backtracking and stuff like that. Uh, to save you guys time, to save myself some time, um, I have decided to cut out uh, most of the times when I'm backtracking. So if you find yourself being lost or anything like that, that's why. Um, I figured out later on, because again, I'm playing this on an emulator because I don't have a capture card for any of my systems that play Game Boy Advance games, um, that I could use my mouse to show you guys on the map, like, oh, I'm going from here to here. But unfortunately, the first, like, few videos, I'm going to say like four videos, uh, don't have that. <laughs> so I apologize, and it'd be way too much trouble to go back in and edit those maps in, especially because so much more of the map will be revealed and it'll be kind of confusing, so just bear with me. Trust that I kind of know where I'm going. There's a few parts where I don't, but uh, make it work. Uh, some things that are cool about this Castlevania game that may not have been the case in a lot of Ian's videos. Number one, right there, leveling up. Uh, you can level up, boost your stats, so as you encounter some enemies, like if you go into an area that's a bit too hard, you can always go back and uh, try again when you're a bit stronger. Um, things like uh, the mana bar or whatever it's called in Castlevania and the for your magic and uh, your health can both be... I need to double jump here so I can't do that. Uh, can anyway, can both be built up. You've already seen me pick up like a max HP thing already. Um, video is going to cut here in a bit because I'm going to be doing quite a bit of backtracking here. Um, so that's cool. It kind of gives you a bit of progression. Um, it still has some of the classic Castlevania things like picking up hearts to use items and the axe that you chuck over your head and stuff like that that's kind of known for the series. Uh, here's another thing is equipable items. So um, you eventually can pick up things to equip to your whip, things that make you do fire damage or lightning damage or one that lets you spin it faster and stuff like that, uh, spin your whip faster. Uh, you can also pick up things to boost your defense, boost your attack, uh, speed, etc, etc. Uh, you're going to see that I don't actually know what a lot of these weapons do in the beginning of the game. And again, like Ian kind of has played through pretty much every Castlevania game already, it seems like, and knows, like, oh, you should be using this weapon, or, like, this guy's the, like, great-grandson of this guy, or, uh, that's what he's saying, if you can hear past the terrible audio quality on his videos. But, <laughs> sorry, Ian keep digging at you, but, um, but, uh, I don't know any of those things, so I don't know what's the best weapon to use, I don't know what's the best way to optimize the characters. I don't know if I'm missing stuff in the game, so if you see me playing and you're like, you idiot, what about this thing? Or why didn't you do this thing? That's why. So uh, not great at the old Castlevania games. Uh, I feel like as I go through in this game, I get a little bit better, a little bit better at dodging. Uh, in the beginning here, I didn't realize that if I hit the shoulder buttons, I could dash uh, or like retreat dash. So that's kind of cool figure that out as I get farther in the game. You think I would just push buttons in the beginning, but no. Um, yeah, so you can see down here is one of those vases that uh, will improve your, your stats here. Uh, down below me is this wall that I can't break yet, or at least not that I know of. I'm assuming I have to get some kind of dashing move or something like that. Uh, this is one of the things that kind of sucks in Metroid Mania games in the beginning is no double jumping, um, no sliding, uh, none of that stuff. So you kind of feel like you're playing like an incomplete ca character until you get this thing. Um, but those do eventually come around. So this is where I'm trying to go, right? Here's an item. 
uh, that obviously is magical. It's got little glowy bits on it. It's clearly where I need to go. Uh, so I'm going to backtrack a bit here and try to work my way through the castle to try to find where that item is, where the other side of that wall is. So, um, so far these skeletons aren't too big of a problem. I'm able to defeat them. Uh, these skeletons have some armor on them, but doesn't seem to do them too much good. Again, here I'm just like, hit me in the face! That'll do it! Like, that'll take care of these, uh, these enemies. Halt! The color of your soul. You must be a Belmont! That is correct. This overwhelming power. Death? Indeed. Which means this is in fact Dracula's castle. That might be true, though the power that is here is not my lord's. What do you mean? I must go now. We shall meet again, son of Belmont. Death is a very busy man. He got away. So he's like, oh shit, I'm late for work. I'll be back. BRB, bro. Uh, I'll fill you in later. Fortunately, someone just keeps this map lying in the middle of this room. So here's a bunch of the map. Uh, again, I, I apologize that I didn't like make a point of showing you guys like, hey, I'm going here. But um, just assume that anytime I'm going somewhere, I'm just going towards a spot that hasn't been explored yet. So I'm uh, going to go to the left here. I do kind of like the backgrounds in most of these places. And I say most uh, for a reason. You'll see it in a little bit. These guys kept kicking my ass until I learned that I could dash back. Um, oh, another thing that's different about this game is there's no floor meat. Um, you're not finding turkey legs and walls and stuff like that. Uh, you're actually using potions uh, to heal yourself. These guys get a bit easier to dodge once you can dash. Or, I mean, I think I already can dash. I'm just too stupid to. But I push my luck here because I don't want to use the item when I can pick up that health thing right there uh, as it'll fully restore my health. There we go. I think, oh, I was going to say, don't use my item, you idiot. But I didn't think I did. I like that these statues have like a little blurry bit that could be a dong, but might not be a dong. It might just be a leg muscle. Who knows? But yeah, they did put a lot of care and a lot of work into like the backgrounds and scrolling, like little pieces like these statues. And um, later on, there's some pretty cool stuff that they do. And actually, I have to say, like, despite the age of this game and the fact that, again, it's kind of pixely because it's meant for a screen that's like smaller than a playing card if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they do a pretty good job of making this game look fairly awesome. Um, I was really impressed by that. Really impressed by the amount of detail that they managed to cram in to so much. And I believe this game was fairly early in the GBA's life cycle. I could be wrong about that. Um, this is why I said not all the backgrounds. This background, like, melts my eyes. Even looking at it now, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, like, the jarring colors or the weird graphics or what. But this room hurts my eyes every single time I go through it. And I think, like, here, I can't slide. So I'm obviously going to have to come back to this room. And actually, later on, you have to come back to this, through this room several times. Um, so it's kind of annoying. It just kind of... I don't know what they were going for here or who was like, you know what would look cool? If you just like vomited all over the background and made it neon and just kind of cycled through it. Uh, so there I backtracked a lot, went back up to the front of this um, little diversion after I got the map. And uh, I'm going to keep making my way through. I apologize um, for one thing and that is that a lot of these videos aren't necessarily going to end on like cliffhangers. Uh, I try to do as much as I can to end it in like a good spot like right after a boss fight or right after a big story part but that's not always possible just because of the nature of the Castlevania game sometimes there are large gaps in between stuff and again I'm trying to keep these videos 
in a short part for you guys. But there uh, are a few parts where it's just like me going through the castle. Nothing particularly interesting happens. There's a lot of backtracking. And those videos I'll just skip all together. So I promise you every video will have something interesting. Whether it's a uh, storyline or whether it's um, me getting a special weapon or fight more often than not me fighting the boss. Uh, you'll always get that. So that's my guarantee to you. Every time I think of guarantee, I like to think of this Tommy boy. But like, oh, you shouldn't have box and slap guarantee on it. But so at this point, I figured out that I can dash clearly, and uh, I'm gonna go back up here and see what's on this left side here before um, we get to the rest of it. I like that in this game they didn't take the trouble to make a pushing the box animation so you're just like running into it with your forehead. That's how I imagine he's pushing and just like, gotta push this fucking box! And just pushing his head directly into the, the wooden crate that's conveniently left there for me. Um, so this is one of the, again, one of the things that I like is later on I'll be backtracking through some of these parts uh, once I get the slide and the... Um, double jump and that fortunately when I'm doing those things uh, I'll be stronger so I'll be able to like one shot these guys eventually but uh, not today unfortunately these guys when they're doing that like spinny thing you can't actually hit them during they're immune during that part um, but then obviously they become fairly easy I don't know what's up here okay yeah so uh, this ice book, basically what this does is that when I use a special attack, like that book uh, that spins around me or the multi-punch or the holy water, it will change it to a spell. Um, and uh, depending on which one you use depends on what it is. I've only seen two in the game because I mainly don't pick up all the items. Um, I only really use them at boss fights because I'm stupid like that. But, um, one of them did like an ice rock that just like kind of slams down and then one does like an ice field that shoots little chunks of ice across the screen that one is super helpful for boss fights uh here are the flea men these guys are in like every castlevania game and i hate them i don't know what it is about them but something about them just irritates me um they just look dumb they're hard to hit uh i don't know why i jumped like that So we're coming up on another save point here and I'm gonna end the video on this one saving here and I promise you guys good stuff is coming up in the future so stick around for it again this has been Jonathan for the Blue Wizard Project playing through uh, Castlevania uh, Harmony of Dissonance uh, one thing very quickly just because I didn't do it at the front of the video because I wanted to get you guys right in is just very quickly explain what the Blue Wizard Project is if this happens to be your first video I don't know why it would be but uh, if it is, uh, the Blue Wizard Project is an event that my buddy Ian and I are doing throughout the course of 2017 where we play through several classic game series. So I'm playing through traditionally Mega Man and he's playing through Castlevania despite this video being Freaky Friday. Uh, I have played through probably about a third of the games that I'm supposed to be playing through. Ian has played through just shy of half, I think. So we're making good progress. I need to speed myself up a bit, but don't worry. I'll get there. Uh, basically what people are doing is they're donating uh, either directly to us through our PayPal or directly to the Mid-Ohio Food Bank. And all of the money that we raise, 100% of it, goes straight to helping families in need in Central Ohio through the Mid-Ohio Food Bank. Ian and I don't keep a penny of that. Uh, if you need more information about how you can get involved, how you can give, or just want to spread the word to people, look us up on Facebook. We have a community page there, the Blue Wizard Project. All the information is there. If you're not finding what you need, please just contact Ian and I. Uh, you can either message us through that Facebook group or just leave a comment here uh, or message us through YouTube and we'll be happy to get in contact with you. Uh, really guys, every dollar that you give counts a lot. Um, we've already raised over $1,000, uh, not much more at the time of this recording, but over 1000 And uh, for every dollar that you guys give, the Mid-Ohio Food Bank is able to buy $10 worth of groceries for people in need. So that is a huge impact. 
on people's lives once all these donations go in at the end of the year. So thank you guys so much. If you can get involved, do. If you can give, please give. If not, please tell a friend. Please like and subscribe. Please get involved and follow us. Uh, again, this has been Jonathan for the Blue Wizard Project. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.